Hello, I'm Sonia Fortuna, I'm a life coach and uh, I'm recording this video to let you know a little bit about myself and my work and uh, hopefully to give you some information which you can find useful for your everyday life and at work. Today I want to talk about biases, such a common word these days. Basically biases are there because we need to filter the huge amount of information that is coming in from, from the environment thousands of information of little bits and pieces of information coming in every second we need to filter it so so having these filters is something good having these biases is fundamentally something we want to we want to have these, these filters are um, based on our values our beliefs our experiences and our preferences so also based on our personality and being so personal it is obvious at this point that we all we have we all have we have <laughs> a very personal view of the world, a very personal and unique experience of the same event. Uh, has it ever happened to you to go to a meeting and then when you come out of the meeting comparing your opinion about how it went with a colleague and you find out that you've got totally opposite views? Some people, you know, are big picture people and so they look at the, the final outcome of, of a project, for instance, and other people are more specialist and uh, interested at the details of the, of the project, of a part of it, and so they, they will miss out on, on the bigger picture and the, the final, the bigger outcome of the project. But both things are important so there is no right or wrong there is often no right or wrong in these cases but it is important to know that there is something that we are missing out on the way we see the world when i was on training a few weeks ago we were asked to formulate some sentences based on specific terminologies and when when it came so between visual terminology like how does it look um, Im imagery in kind of terms and uh, and auditory terminology as well and um, when it came to the auditory terminology I found it I found talking uh, using terms like how does it sound it sounds great it screams like success to be very physical to be heavy I did not like it and I, I commented like oh this way of talking is really gross and the trainer told me that uh, that it didn't sound gross to her that it sounded fine and uh, good and so it was an eye-opening moment for me to realize that how terminology impacts the way I perceive a message and so I, I realized that I have to pay more attention uh, around the way I perceive how other people are talking to me because I, I may not like what they are saying to me just because of the, the words that they are using and I, I imagine that you know what I'm talking about for instance if you don't like an Italian accent <laughs> Why is it that we want to gain awareness around biases? Because sometimes we want to have a wider perspective around the world and, uh, and what's happening out there and what opportunities are out there for us. If we know only a little bit of the world, we may limit our opportunities to that little bit. So, for instance, if you were to hire a, a new employee and you had a, a, an application from a mother coming back to the workplace and you perhaps in the past had had a bad experience with a mother coming back to the workplace because she had personal issues or something similar or your a member of your family had a negative experience in uh, in his business or a friend told you that he had a negative experience or perhaps your partner told you that it would be bad if if you hired her because she heard that somebody else had had a bad experience and so on so we we start building our beliefs around something even before knowing how that thing is going to is going to be actually and and so i made a very specific case around workplace discrimination because it's very common to to hear these days but it, this is a very it can be more subtle what can you do about it to increase your awareness around the various possibilities that are out there and not limit yourself to to your own view of the world limited by your biases necessarily i invite you to 
Ask the opinion of people who have very different perspectives from your own. Ask people who have done different things from your own. Ask people you know they will tell you not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Challenge your thinking. Challenge your, your, yourself in getting out of your comfort zone. In this way, you will, you will increase your, your own view of the world and you will also test your biases. It's, it's a fun experiment and it's, it's certainly going to be exciting, rewarding and enriching. So, I hope you found this information useful and uh, I hope I'll see you soon. Good luck with that and ciao ciao!